Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Digital Trip, Road to E3 Style. I'm Juan Solo. I'm Mark Ashford. Alright, so by the time this episode hits YouTube, E3 would have already started. So with that said, um, Square Enix is pulling off of Bethesda and that they are also getting their own press conference. Yeah, I actually heard about that. It's one of those where it's... They've never had one before, have they? I don't think they've ever had their own conference, so I think like Bethesda, this is a first. You they, think you think they're doing it just because you know Bethesda's doing it, or? I don't think so. I think this is something that both Bethesda and Square Enix just thought, hey, you know what? Let's not tag along with Sony or Microsoft. Let's just Do our make own our thing. own and show off our own stuff. It probably would work a little bit more for Square Enix just because of the fact that uh, they they have more games to unveil. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's so their big thing was uh, Fallout 4. Mm-hmm. Which got confirmed even before the event. Yeah, so there's no point for Bethesda to go on stage anymore. No, there isn't. So Bethesda, bye-bye. No, I'm kidding. And, no, anyway, don't. <laughs> no they, I'm pretty sure they paid a shit ton of money to go first before everyone. Yeah. The day they fucking did. before. Yeah, they... Because I'm pretty sure that's how things work. And with that, they probably have something big planned. I mean, you won't do that unless you have something. They already showed Fallout 4. Well, for so collector's edition, where you get another Pip Boy. There has to be something else to it. Yeah, there maybe, probably is, but uh. Maybe another Elder Scrolls, like you said. Maybe, maybe I got it right again. I've been getting it right all this show. I'm like a goddamn psychic. Um, but uh, but yes, uh, but yeah, Square Enix getting their own stuff. Uh, what do they have lined up? Final Fantasy 15, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Anything else that I might be missing? Those are the big two, just because um, I'm not a big JRPG fan. And oh, and just on a side note, Square Enix's uh, panel is set to go on on Tuesday. I'm not sure at what time, so we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. But um, but yeah, I'm not too big of like a JRPG f- fan. So who knows if they maybe they'll unveil like uh, I don't know maybe a sequel to games like Bravely Default or something like that. It, it could be, or, you know... Oh, wait, that's not Square Enix. What were you going to say? I was going to say Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, no, that's Ubisoft. Right? Damn, <laughs> I got our topics mixed up. But, um, oh, another thing for Square Enix that... I remember about the Alamo. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, not the Alamo. Uh, remember- we're from Texas. We remember that shit. Yes, we do. And our water. Well, speaking, we pressure it. Speaking of remembering uh, stuff... You remember last year when uh, Square Enix announced uh, Final Fantasy VII at the Sony conference and everyone was like, oh my god, HD remaster, HD re-release, and it's like, oh no, we're just porting it from the PC. And everyone just went like, fuck you, Square Enix. Oh no, I don't, but keep going. Okay, well that happened last year. I don't know if it was at E3 or at Tokyo Game Show, but yes, they just, they really screwed everyone over because everyone like, Oh my god, like it's happening. They're finally doing it and no, we're just porting the game. And it's not even the PlayStation port, it's the PC port. Wow. <laughs> well, what if Square Enix actually this time around has like some big plans for Final Fantasy 7? Probably. Cuz like Bethesda, they've definitely got something besides Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy I would 15 hope so. if you're going to hold your own conference. So, or maybe just maybe it's the Final Fantasy Complete Edition from all the Final Fantasy games up to 14. You can only buy at SquareEnix.com for $150. And it's all the games. You don't even have to worry about it. Why? Because this is going to lead up to Final Fantasy 15. And it will include Type 0, X2, X1, and all those other ones that I don't clearly remember right now. But it will have them. And if you don't like Final Fantasy, you can get Kingdom Hearts, the Complete Collector's Ultimate Edition, for again, $150. And it will include 1, 2, 1.5, 2.5, 1 and 3 quarters, 1 and 2.8 and a half, 3 and 3 quarters. Yes, the unreleased edition of Kingdom Hearts 3 that is no longer out yet, which is really just a demo. For $150. And it will come with a life size. Not really. But to scale. Keyblade. Buy now. <laughs> you want to work at Square Enix? <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you for watching this episode of Digital Trip, The Road to E3. This time, for reals, we will wrap it next week with the E3 wrap-up. That was my bad. <laughs> anyway. Nice calculations. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Square Enix. My contact information is in the description. Could use a better job.